like every time I look at my phone, I'm just like, you're so beautiful. Wow. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica of Miss More Style. I make videos about fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel. Um, so some of you all may be coming to this for a completely different reason, but if any of those topics sound like something that you might be interested in seeing more from me, then make sure that you go hit that red subscribe button um, because I do a lot of really fun, affordable fashion hauls as well as beauty videos and travel vlogs. So make sure to stick around to check out some more videos. But today we're doing something that I have been spending way too much time doing in the last couple days. And that is setting up my very aesthetic iOS 14 home screen. <laughs> Updated my phone. I absolutely kind of had no idea that this was a thing until very recently. And then when I figured out how to do it, that's when I just like wasted all of my life doing this. Here to give you some simple instructions on how you can take your boring regular iPhone screen and turn it into this. If you guys haven't updated your phone to iOS 14 yet, you wanna go ahead and do that because that is the first crucial step in this tutorial. Um, that is how you will get to do all these fun widgets. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what mine is looking like. Here is my home screen. I have been spending so much time on this, but I think it looks really beautiful. So I have this page on, which is like my front page of my home screen. And then I also have this second page almost done. Um, and it's really starting to look the way that I want it to look. So I'm super excited and I'm so excited to share with you guys how to do this. It's really not hard, but please do be warned. It is time consuming. So just, just be prepared for that because it, this is not like a quick thing. It will take you hours. Step one, like I said, go ahead and up, download and install iOS 14 on your phone. You will need to do that first and foremost. Then what you're gonna need to do is there are a couple apps that you need to download after you've installed iOS 14. The apps that I used personally were Widget Smith, Color Widgets, and Photo Widget. So those are the ones that I'm using um, as well as photo widgets. There's several different photo widgets, but anyway, we'll get to that in a second. But those are the ones that I used. I also used Pinterest as well to source my photos. Um, so essentially what you want to do before you get started is you kind of want to decide, okay, what is going to be like, what is my aesthetic? For me, my aesthetic, if you've been around here long enough to know, is very like kind of feminine and girly. I like pink. I like sparkle. I like um, Paris. I like I don't know, that's just sort of like some culmination of my aesthetic. So what I did is I went on to Pinterest. I searched in Pinterest for some different things. So you can see like these are like a lot of the things that I've been searching today to find images. So one thing that I wanna point out that was a great search that gave me a lot of results, especially if you have a similar aesthetic to me, was aesthetic pictures for wall collage. The other ones are very specific, but yes, aesthetic pictures for wall collage. This was one that really brought up a lot of things. There's just a lot of great images on this that you can see that um, are perfect. Like I, it was like hitting, it was like hitting the jackpot for me. So I screenshotted and saved a bunch of these images to start off. So that's what you want to do. You want to go ahead and just anything that you see that you think kind of like piques your interest that you're kind of into, go ahead, save it to your um, camera roll or screenshot it either way. And then what you want to do, first of all, is to get a get a wallpaper that sort of is going to be a good aesthetic wallpaper, a good base for all of the things that you're going to put on top of it. So for me, this is my home screen wallpaper so you can see it and I think it's I think it's a really good like sort of cool collage so if you want like a collage definitely search on Pinterest like aesthetic collages or aesthetic wallpapers that will bring up quite a few options like this this one was the perfect one for me because I felt like it wasn't too busy and it had the right color tones that I was looking for so we start off with that next so you see this really big um widget right here that is pretty wide that one is from the app uh that is from the app color widgets so this app is really only good for getting you that really big uh rectangular widget that goes across the top so you can scroll down and you can see these are some of the different options they have different fonts that you can do um different backgrounds 
But essentially what you can do is you can put your own background. So that's where your Pinterest photos come into play. So you can see once you hit the widget, it gives you like a couple different options. So the like square one, the rectangular one, which I have, or like this really massive square one, which takes up way too much real estate on your phone screen, in my opinion. I don't really like those big widgets. Um, and you can go down, you can choose your fonts, and then you can add your photo. And that's where I added in that photo of those like sparkly lips. Um, so once you've done that, you would set your widget, save it. Then you go out to your uh, regular desktop and you hold down like pressure push on your, you hit this little plus sign that's in the top left corner and you can go down to, there it is, color widgets. And you can see there's the widget right there and you swipe to the one that you want and you just hit add widget and it goes onto your screen, bam. Then you can, of course, once they're in this jiggly mode, you can like drag things around to place it where you want it to go. And then you hit done. Um, the other types of widgets that are good to do. So Widget Smith is the other great app that is definitely a must for this process. So I'll show you that one. So we're going to go into Widget Smith. And this one, you can do all different types of little widgets. So you can do um, just photos if you want, or you can do, they have all these different choices. You can go in like They've got, you know, time, if you want time um, and different types of settings for the time, they can, you can do a, one that's the date. You can do um, a photo, which I have, I'm using this one for, and you can also do photos and album or a um, custom text. So you can just type in whatever you want, I guess. I haven't tried that one. They've got a calendar one that will show you your upcoming events um, and reminders. These ones with the locks, I believe you have to um, purchase that. The membership or whatever to it which i wasn't about to do i don't really need a weather app i don't need to pay for that because the ios already has that built in they've also got health and activity um, if you have an apple watch like i do you can do one of those or if you're a surfer tides i don't know um, or moon phases and sunrise and sunset they've got all these other settings here so you can set your setting to where you are you can choose your font I personally really like the New York font because I feel like it's the most like chic looking. And then you can customize the color. So you can do um, the font color, whichever color you want. And then you can set the background of the widget, however you like, that's gonna go with your like vibe or aesthetic. And then you can do the time format, um, all these great things. Some of them even have like little uh, borders if you want it to have a border. So there's a lot of different ways that you can customize it. And the widget Smith, I feel like is the app for widgets that has the most versatility in it. Like there's the most that you can do. And I really just realized um, at the end of my process that um, you can add photo widgets with this, but we'll get to that in a second. Cause there's some other, I think maybe better widgets for photos. If you want it to be a little bit fancier, show you on my home screen, this one that says good vibes, that is a widget Smith widget where I just put in the photo that I wanted to sit right there. Um, this one from a photo widget, you can see right here in the bottom corner. I'm going to show you that one because this one is a little bit fun because what you can do is you can add a bunch of photos into like an album. You can do up to 30 and it will rotate the images throughout the day at whatever um, intervals that you want it to do. So I have it set to refresh the image every hour, but you could do it every five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, three hours, six hours, one in a day, whatever you want to do. Or you could have it to not switch if that's what you want. Now I discovered when I was doing this that photo widget, I feel like it only allows you to have like one photo album full of photos. So let's say you wanted to have a widget with photos that rotate. You can't go into photo widget and make a new widget um, to have another one somewhere else on your phone screen, if that makes sense. So that's where this one is kind of limited. That is when I discovered photo widgets, which does allow you to have multiple like photo albums, I guess you could call it. So this one is inspo. This is on one page so i've got all of these sort of like inspirational type aesthetic photos um, going on there and then the other one that i have is my aesthetic one which is on another area where these are just like really pretty images that i love that kind of go with my theme so i'll point those out to you guys so you can see where they are on my screen so let's see this these two on this screen are both from that last widget app so you can have more than just the one which is what i like about the photo widget one now that we've covered the apps and you kind of see what they do let's get into the process so once you've kind of created your background image to what you want 
The next thing that you're going to want to do is move any apps that you don't use a lot into your app library. So this is a new feature in the iOS 14 where it's the app library. First, I was very resistant to this. I didn't want to do it, um, but I kind of like it now because now the only apps that I have on my home screen are ones that I use all the time. And then if I need other apps, I know where to find them. They're here. I can just like swipe all the way over and find them pretty quickly. And that way it keeps your home screen from being super cluttered up. So that's basically what you want to do. Step one, get everything that you're not going to want on your home screen into the app library. Now that you've done that, you can do your different widgets, your different little photo widgets. If you want to do, you know, the little calendar ones, whichever things that are going to make it the most sense for you, because this is your phone. So you want to set it up in a way that's beneficial to you. Now, I know you're seeing these are all of my like regular apps, but they have their own photos that I have set for them. Um, and this really contributes to the like beautiful aesthetic thing. So this is a little bit, this is where it gets time consuming. This is the part where it's time consuming. You don't have to do this part, but you can do it if you're fully committed like I was. So I've decided that on this first screen, I just want like my basic things to be here. So my clock, my calendar, um, which is actually my Google calendar, not the iOS calendar, because I don't like the iOS calendar, um, camera, photo roll, calculator, weather, notes, and maps. And then this next page I have set up as sort of like my social media and blog stuff page because these are the apps that I use all the time because I am a full-time blogger and influencer. So these are all the things that I use always. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into Pinterest and you're going to find just a buttload of pictures. And for me, I wanted the photos for my icons to be somewhat relevant to the app that they open just so that my brain will like know what it's doing, especially for these. So you can see for clock, it's like a really cute little analog clock, calendar, it's like a little planner, um, photos has Polaroids, there's like cute vintage cameras, so it's all very aesthetic, but these are all photos that I found on Pinterest. So once you go into Pinterest and you find the photos you want for your little icons, you're going to go into the app called Shortcuts, which you should have. It comes with your iOS. Um, and I never knew what this was for until I started doing this. And I was like, oh, okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit the plus sign to create a new shortcut. You hit add action, and then you're going to go to scripting. Open app. Then you're going to choose what app that you want to create the shortcut for. So for this time, I'm going to do Twitter. There we go. Then you hit next. Now you're going to give your app a name. You can name your apps whatever you want to. I prefer to name them what they're called. But this is where I took it a little bit further. So instead of just typing in Twitter, what I do is I go over to Safari West Fonts for Instagram. I just Google that and the website comes up. There's apps for this, but they usually make you pay. This is free. So this is the one that I use. You literally type into it what you want. So I'm going to type Twitter and then you can scroll all of these fonts. There's like so many fonts, um, but I'm using the one that kind of looks like courier or like a typewriter. So that's down here a little bit. There it is. You copy it, go back to the shortcut, paste, bam, hit done. Then you hit these three little dots right there in the corner, then hit those three dots right there. Then you hit add to home screen. Then you hit the little like icon that's to the left and it lets you either take a photo, choose a photo or choose a file. So you're gonna choose a photo. I got this beautiful crane picture for Twitter because they're birds. Choose, add and hit done. Now we should go and you can see it right there. There is Twitter and it is ready to go. It looks quite beautiful with my other things. Now I want to add something for Dropbox because I want that to stay on my like blogger influencer type screen. So I'm going to go into shortcuts again and hit plus, add action, scripting, open app, choose which app, Dropbox, type it in, bam. Then we're going to go to next, go back over to your browser type in what you want to call this. And this step, you only have to do it if you want to have like cool little fonts underneath your icons. You definitely don't have to do this, but I think it really adds to the whole aesthetic. So Dropbox, and I like to keep it all lowercase. It's an aesthetic thing. And I scroll down to find that one font that I like. There it is. Copy and paste, hit done. Now hit those three dots. Hit another three dots, add a home screen, hit that icon, choose a photo, 
And I think for this one, we'll do this flower. Bam, that's Dropbox, hit add, hit done. Then we're gonna go back to the thing and there you can see there's the new shortcut for Dropbox and then there's Dropbox right on top of it. So to get rid of the actual Dropbox app from your home screen, you're gonna hold and press down, hit edit home screen. Then you hit the little negative sign and you just say move it to the app library. That way it's like still an app on your phone, but now it's in the app library. And now what you're left with is the Dropbox shortcut that you created. So I'm pretty happy with this page. I have an extra little space right there. I'm gonna have to decide later what I want to go there. Going into this page, I think this is what I want to be like my sort of like page where I have like some of my utilities, some of my money things. Like I've got my Robin Hood because your girl has a stock portfolio chase different things so what i want to show you really quick is how to do like one of those rotating picture things so i'm going to go into photo widgets which i told you about earlier i'm going to add a new album of photos so i'm going to hit add i'm going to call this money we're going to hit done because honestly like kind of the idea behind me doing this it's sort of like a vision board meets my iphone so that's why i like to have kind of like inspirational things in there because you look at your phone so many times a day so i feel like it's a great opportunity to give yourself some like positive imagery to like help you manifest things you know what i'm saying so we're gonna hit money you hit add to add some photos and i'm just gonna tap the ones that i want to add into there that kind of have to do with money and actually i'm gonna leave that one out i'm gonna use it for something else but yeah we're gonna do that hit done hit done now it's saved so now i can go back to my little desktop i guess you would call it and then you pressure push on the i feel like i can't do this properly with my nails because they're like curved and long but you're supposed to be able to like push it's not recognizing it so hold and hit edit home screen then you hit the plus again you go down to picture widgets right down here and you hit the size that you want i definitely want this small square one hit add widget obviously this is one from my other page so what you're going to do now is you hit um done and then you're going to sort of pressure hold it and hit edit widget then you go in here and you can go into a photo list choose which one hit money then you can hit um what interval you want it to do so i want it to do every three hours and bam there we go that's my money widget um, settings I did earlier, but I'm going to sort of like bring that down here a little bit, bring Waze down here, bring Uber down here, bring Amazon, bring Poshmark. So now these are like my three main like money apps. Let's do it for Robinhood since Robinhood is downloaded already. Choose Robinhood. No, Robinhood. Hit next shortcut name go back over robin hood go down find my font copy paste done hit those three dots hit another three dots hit add to home screen hit the icon choose photo and for this one i like the dollar signs earring hit add hit done and done and now it should be ready oh it got added to my other so you're gonna drag it over to the area we want it to be which is right over here and then we're gonna get rid of the robin hood by putting it just in the app library so it's gone so there you can see that is ready to go there. So this page is still a work in progress. I, I don't want to do all of it with you all because it would take long and I feel like this video is already long, but I hope this was helpful. I hope that it helps you um, see different things that you can do. There's some other great apps that you can download that have fun widgets. Um, you can do like there's a motivational one, which I thought was interesting um, that will, I guess, like do widgets that have these motivational quotes that will switch out from time to time. Um, I didn't end up doing that one because you have to pay for it and I'm cheap right now. I'm not going to be... <laughs> paying monthly to have like inspirational quotes shown to me on my phone but if that's what you're into you can definitely do it another app that i feel like you should know about um for ios 14 that has to do with these widgets is this dinosaur game so basically you install it it's called steve i think 
like Steve the dinosaur or something like that. And it adds it to your like uh, screen. So like when you're on your home screen and you swipe it over to the, the far left, you get all of these widgets, which are customizable, um, but it adds it down here. So you can hit tap to play. And it's just this little dinosaur that like, oh no, I already lost. Okay, let's try again. You just like jump over these obstacles and oh, if you hit something, it's like game over. It's very simple, but it's really fun and cute. It's just something you can add. Obviously, like I said, it takes a long time. So I hope you have patience. I hope you have time to do this. If you don't, totally fine. Like you don't need your home screen to look like this, but it is fun. So the one thing I will say about the shortcuts is it takes a split second um, when you have these shortcuts. So while these icons look really cool, please know before you do this process that um, it will take you a split second to take you into the app when you have these. So like, let's show you, I'm gonna hit weather. And you can see it takes you to the shortcuts app for like a second and then it takes you on over to your weather app. So not the end of the world, but I know for me, it's going to be an adjustment. This whole thing is going to be an adjustment period. This is like, you know how when you're like living in an apartment for so long and you have your kitchen like just set up the way that you like it and then you move somewhere new and you have to like set up a whole new kitchen and put things in new places, but it takes you forever to like remember where everything is like this is gonna be me for like a couple weeks as I adjust to this but I like every time I look at my phone I'm just like you're so beautiful wow it's really up to you but it's a really cool new feature from the iOS 14 so I hope that this video was helpful and um, instructive if you have any questions about this process don't hesitate to comment down below and I'll try to answer them the best that I can because if you didn't do so already hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family for more fabulous fashion lifestyle and travel videos coming soon and uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on my next video. Have a great rest of your day wherever you are. Bye.